That great Gretsch sound you've yeah, heard all about. The great Gretsch sound, that's what we are looking at today, folks. Anyway, welcome to the storeroom. Today we are taking an exciting look at the brand new, rather nice, Electromatic guitars from Gretsch. Um, if you guys aren't aware, the Gretsch Electromatic series has just had a revamp prompted by the introduction of the Streamliner series earlier in the year, Gretsch felt it necessary to add some value to these electromatic guitars to make the difference clearer between Streamliner, Electromatic and then Pro series at the top. So we're going to take you through some of those differences today. We've got an assortment of guitars, um, four 5420s. You can't move for Gretsch in here. You can't move for Gretsch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, sat That's back. Chilling out. He's chilling out. That's chilling. He's given up today. <laughs> He's had a rough weekend. <laughs> We have got the new colour, this baby here, Fairline Blue. Uh, we've got the vintage orange and we've got the classic Aspen Green, which has been a big hit as well. Uh, but these two guys here, we thought we'd bring these in because we've got the perfect opportunity. This is an old Electromatic and this is the new Electromatic, but both in the Aspen Green colour. So we can show you the differences. Um, first thing I should say is the price hasn't really changed that much on the Electromatics. You might see some difference out there at the moment, but that's simply because we're discounting the older models um, just to clear those out and make way for the new ones. And it's not fair to charge. Out of the old, in with yeah, the new. Exactly. Not fair to charge the new money for the old models. So differences. There's not a huge difference. It's subtle things they've done, but I think it has made an overall impact on the guitar and already the response from these in store has been great and I am rather fond of this one in particular. Can't leave the Bigsby alone. No, you can't. Can't leave it can't. alone. So, old, new, differences. Shall I go? No, I don't, I don't mind going. Look, Let's see what we can I'm trying see. to get him to do some oh, work here. He sat back there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling. Right. Uh, most obvious difference is your inlays. I think is the thing that most people notice first. Inlays. New. You've got the Neo classical thumb inlays like you see on the Pro Series. Much of the Pro Series. Correct. Pearl inlays. Um, secondly, obviously you'll spot. On the old ones, it says Electromatic on headstock. Yes. They've done away with that. Yes. Now on the pit guard. Which is something I think really cool on the Streamliner as well. It doesn't say Streamliner on the headstock. It doesn't say Electromatic on the headstock. So if you're on stage, you'd be pretty hard pushed Check to spot the difference. Off. It now says Electromatic just here on the plexiglass, plexiglass pit you guard. Could, you could scratch that off. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Binding. Binding, yeah. Binding. Oh, and smaller headstock. It's a smaller headstock. It as is, well. yeah. Um, that's a bit fatter than that one. This guy, he's got the late 50s slimline Gretsch headstock, and that one's got the thicker one. Binding, the new guitars have moved over to a four-ply binding around the body, so it's got black and vintage white, completely bound neck and headstock. The old ones have just got a, a single ply, uh, more of a, a white uh, binding. Mm -hmm. um, something interesting about this little knobby here, do you know what it is? Treble bleed. Treble bleed. Treble bleed mod on the master volume. Um, a treble bleed mod, if you don't know, is a capacitor. Yeah. 
you know the resistor. technical resistor. resistor and capacitor, I think. Right. What it means is when you roll the volume down, it's not going to lose anywhere near as much treble as normally. If you experience that usually when you roll the volume down, you lose volume, but you also roll off top end. Mm. The idea always with the Gretsch guitars was that you've got two volumes, a tone, and then a master volume up here so that you can blend the pickups and still bring the whole guitar up and down as you're playing lead and rhythm. So having the treble bleed on that master volume means that if you've got a nice, bright, twangy Gretsch tone, as you roll off the volume, you're you not going to lose that. Exactly. Yes. Um, new nut. Yeah. We moved over to a Graftech uh, no. yeah. new bone. Um, so a man-made. New bone. Sorry, yep. new bone. On the old one, it was just a, an unbranded kind of synthetic bone. Um, what have and I missed? Bigger frets. Bigger frets. Now medium yes. jumbos. Medium jumbos instead mediums. of medium. Correct. It's a bit more of a modern feel, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else I've forgotten there. So, smaller headstock, binding, inlays, binding, move the logo, treble bleed, new nut. Oh, I should say on the bindings, uh, sorry, the inlays, um, you get the thumbnails on all the guitars except for anything with gold hardware. If you've got gold hardware, you're going to have the, um, the hump block the hump inlays block. like on the older ones. Uh, and the, the range has been consolidated as well. There's not that many guitars to get your head round. Essentially, you've got the 5420, this guy, the classic. Um, you've got the 5422, which is the double cut. Uh, they're doing a 5422 in gold hardware. And then there's the 12 string. So, so really, three models, really, three models. One of them is available silver, you know, chrome or gold. But that's it. Colours have been shrunk down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, lost a few, but introduced a few newer ones. Yeah. And that's it. I've got to say, nice we've, we've been playing these for a little while now. And we are a bit overzealous on the big speed. Yeah. They haven't gone out of tune or anything, have they? Maybe I should tuck it away. No, you needed it then. Listen to that. It's amazing how much sustain you actually get from them, isn't it? Really nice. Maybe at this point we should just quickly, for reference, show you a streamliner so you can see the difference. Uh, with a little bit of camera magic, I might be able to get one in here if we uh, do a little... Ah! Nice, there we go. So uh, this is a streamliner. Uh, sits well under the Electromatic in price point. And although it is an amazing guitar, um, Gretsch have done so well to get a hollow body Gretsch out at this price point, there are some differences. So whether you're spending this sort of money or you're jumping up to this sort of money, I really do think this is a justified purchase now if you can stretch that a little bit more. Some of the, we won't go too much into the Streamliner because they have already been covered in other videos, but some of the differences that are obvious to see, you've got the plain block inlays, um, you've got not the uh, not actually kind of Filtertron style pickups, they're regular sized humbuckers, still designed by Gretsch and still have that appearance, but they're actually a regular sized humbucker. Um, they haven't got all the trimming, so you haven't got the nice chrome knurled knobs that you get on this guy. You haven't got the traditional little Gretsch pin um, uh, strap button, it's just mm. a regular strap button. The tuners are uh, closed, closed gear tuners. Whereas on these guys, you get the proper nice vintage style open gear tuners um, with the little uh, kidney bean buttons. So there's all of that. And, and you know some of the things in the design, the build as well, it's a plastic pick guard instead of a plexiglass. A, that's pinned. Yeah. yeah. Um, NATO neck instead of a maple as you get on this one. So both very, very competitive guitars for their price because this is significantly cheaper. But I think now that they've added these little changes to the Electromatic, you can really see the difference. Because yeah. I think that was what people, some people were sort of saying, well, there's not that much difference now. That sort of looks the same and that sort of looks the same. But when you see these two guys hanging up on the wall, they both look fantastic. Yeah. That but almost looks like the real deal. This kind of looks really similar to a Pro Series, which, as we know, is 
two thousand pounds more yeah. minimum. So this guy's suddenly become very, very attractive. Anyway, we can do away with this now. Ready? Uh, hang about. What's this? What? Now that is not like any Gretsch I've ever seen. Something went wrong there. <laughs> Hollywood magic. Try it again. Something went wrong. Right. Three, two, one. Uh, there we go. Right. So I think we've said all we need to say. It's just a quick video just to show you some of those differences, clarify it for you, and just introduce the guitars to you. Um, demand is already very high, so stock is going to be short for a while. Um, but if you want to find out more or you want to give one of these babies a test drive, that is if I haven't bought this one already, uh, you can pop in store, check out the website. Um, yeah. That's more like it. Did you say? It's like Christmas with Brian. <laughs> 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 Such a cool sound. Yeah, they sound fun. Can you dig in a bit? So there you have it then, Gretsch Electromatic 2016, revamped. Revamped. For the modern world. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See you next time.